Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be putting in my budget for the Las Vegas Go Wild event, which might be happening in May of 2019, I'm not really sure. But I went last year and attended. I will throw up in a card wherever it goes. My Go Wild playlist if you guys are interested. I vlogged as well as I did some other videos too, just kind of sharing more of my experience and things like that. So this planner, just if you are interested, is my business planner for this year. It is a deluxe monthly planner and I will throw up in a card somewhere my walkthrough of this and how I set it up for this year or this upcoming year I should say. So I'm just gonna get right into this. I'm gonna talk about the things I'm gonna possibly use. So um, first things first, I've got my pens and markers here. I'm not sure what I'm gonna use but I figure I'll talk about it. Sometimes I get questions if something's in the frame but I don't use it so I figured let's just talk about it and I'll still link everything below. Um, so this is the Pilot Ultra Fine Point Permanent Marker. I've also got the Erin Condren dual tip marker in the blue and then I also have my tried and true paper made ink joy gel pen in the 07. I also have two separate washies from my shop. One of it is wild which it's go wild so I figured I'd put that in as well as these are some like blackjack playing cards which I thought would be cute because you know go wild and it's in Vegas so why not. <laughs> So I've got some of these as well. This is from Small Town Grace. These are those like Ray Dunn mugs and this line says wild so I thought you know I might have to put this in here right. I've also got these little airline ticket friends and these are from I believe it's Lily Henry. Um, I had to cut the sheet down many many moons ago um, because it was too big to fit whatever organization I was doing at the time. I've also got this one. It's like a girl that has like her ticket and then also a little bag and this is from Plan to Plan Sticker Co. These I love and I probably won't put these in here today but um I want to maybe put these like on my monthlies spread maybe. I got a ton of them because you know obsession and whatnot but these are Go Wild Savings Trackers. So these are from Birds Fly Studio. Again, I will link this down below. She's got a lot of other really cool stuff and um, she had some really good swag in the Go Wild bags. I remember that last year, so, or like this previous Go Wild year. But love these, but I probably won't include them in this particular spread, but I just wanted to show them anyways. Also, um, I got a couple of these just because, you know, cuteness and all. Um, this is from Paper Mint Project, and Paper Mint is one word, but this is just like a little Vegas deco sheet which I really want to use this like little sign because I thought that would be really really cute and then um, next up I have another deco sheet from Adriana Piper I thought that these little chips were really cool I really like those and then the last shop that I have to share is paper and clips and this just has like the little welcome sign and then there's also um, some playing cards as well so I'm not sure what else what exactly I'm gonna use but we're just like gonna feel it out and go with it um so yeah and I've got my little I like this is like my washi cutter but it's my um Erin Condren bookmark but I like to use it to cut washi and then I've also got a magnetic bookmark to kind of hold my place as to like what the heck I was doing today so like I said before the date has not been released yet um since I filmed my last video and published it a lot of you have had some questions as to you know where do I sign up where do I get tickets uh tickets are not on sale yet they usually don't go on sale until a couple months prior to the event if I remember right but they do announce usually the dates and the location like right at the end of the year or like the beginning of the year. I'm not sure how that worked last year. I cannot remember for the life of me. But if you follow, I believe it's wildforplanners.com, you can sign up for their emails and you can get email notifications when they, you know, make announcements and things like that. So I will leave that website down below if y'all are interested in checking out some information. I believe they have information from um, the previous event there too, so you can just kind of like look and you know, see the pictures and stuff. I'm not sure if they have any like financial information, but I will give you the financial information of what I spent last year and then I'm gonna kind of adjust it for this particular year. So I've got my wild washi, which is so cute. And then um, I am going to use this little guy. This is so cute. I just thought that these were such a cool design for washi. So I think I'm gonna put this 
like, I don't know, down here somewhere. I kind of want to use this for like <clears throat> some decoration and then just kind of list my categories down here. Um, actually, maybe I'll put it down a little bit lower. Hold on, hold on. Watch me mess up, right guys? <laughs> because um, I really don't have that many different budgeting categories, but I don't know, it's just kind of nice to see what everyone's spending, you know what I mean? All right, so this will kind of be like my top bar, and then over here I'm gonna put a column of what the item is, and then on top I'll put like projected and then the actual cost, so we'll We'll do it that way, that'll be easier. Whoa, sorry, I'm not in the frame. Sorry about that, guys. So let's get this stuff done first and then we'll go into the fun part, which clearly is the decorating of the things. So I'm not planning on using the back side of this page for anything and it really doesn't bother me to have a little bleed through. So I am gonna be using this Pilot Ultra Fine Point Permanent Marker on here. Um, I just like the way it feels, I don't know. Is that weird? Mm, maybe. <laughs> so um, let me actually zoom you guys in just a little bit so you can see a little bit better and then I will um, just write down the categories and then do all that good stuff too. Okay, so these are the categories for this year and actually what I used last year too. So um, the Go Wild ticket, the hotel cost, the flight cost, transportation, so like to and from the airport or if there's any cabs or Ubers or anything I need to take somewhere, food, and then that's obviously food and drink, and then spending money, which is anything extra. Clearly, your spending money could be very different than what my spending money would be, but you know, it's all relative, right guys? So what I'm going to do is, I don't have my ruler sitting here, but <laughs> what I'm going to do is I am going to try and line this up kind of and i don't know hope that this looks normal i don't, I don't know all right so that looks all right um so we're gonna put in the budgeted cost and then we'll put in the actual cost as well so that'll be for the budgeted costs And then this will be for the actual cost. All right, and I just put a total down at the bottom as well. So last year, my Go Wild ticket, and I'm gonna round numbers a little bit for you guys, just because things may be plus or minus, you know, 10 bucks, 20 bucks, even $100. I have no idea. Um, I've been to Vegas before, but it was like a really long time ago. I was actually not 21 at the time. So it was a long time ago, guys. <laughs> So anyways, um, I'm gonna put in approximate things for the budget, but I'm gonna base it off of last year's numbers. So the event last year with all the taxes and fees was $526.74. I'm just gonna round that to $530 for the budget and just, we're, gonna, we're just gonna go from there. As for the hotel, I roomed alone last year and it was a little bit more, or it, was almost, it was almost $1,400. But this year I am planning on getting a roommate. I've actually talked with Joe over at Life's Organized Chaos. I will leave her channel link down below and up in a card for you guys. And she is hopefully gonna be able to make it and if she comes, we will be rooming together. If she doesn't come and is unable to attend, I will um, try to get a roommate. So I'm gonna put the hotel at around $700 because that's half of $1,400. And if it fluctuates a little bit, that's okay. But that's what I'm gonna average this year for hotel stay since I am planning on getting a roommate. Also, when you do purchase your Go Wild ticket, you are invited to a private group on Facebook. And if you are looking for a roommate, um, there's a different like thread or whatever, you can find a roommate on the Go Wild Facebook group too. So I'm not too worried about that. If Jody doesn't come, I will just, you know, put it out into the universe and see if there's someone that wants to be my roommate. And the flight last year was to around $260. So I'm just gonna average about that amount 
this time. Usually flights to Vegas are pretty inexpensive. I live in Minneapolis, so um, it's a pretty central hub for flights. So I'm just gonna go with 260. I'm guessing it's probably gonna be a little bit cheaper, but I'd rather go a little bit more expensive than not enough, you know what I mean? So as for transportation, last year in Austin, Texas, I spent $110. I am gonna put that at about $100 this year. Um, the reason that it was so expensive for me is I didn't have anyone to split things with, so obviously if I do have a roommate or Jody comes or something, we'd probably be splitting stuff, so I'm just gonna do 100 bucks just for good measure. On all my food last year, I spent 110. I'm assuming that Vegas might be a little bit more expensive or I might wanna go a little bit more extravagant, I'm not sure, so I'm gonna go with 120 just for funsies, why not, right? Allocating spending money, I mean, clearly this can change depending on my circumstances, but usually, like last year, I allotted about 100 bucks for spending money, and I stayed definitely right on budget, so I am gonna allot $100 for additional spending um, during the conference. So, my total budget for this year is gonna be $1,810, but I would say if you are planning on going to go wild, to shoot for 2,000, just to be safe, there might be some things that kinda fluctuate up or down, um, you know, my go wild ticket, <clears throat> excuse me, maybe a little bit more, but the hotel could be a little less, or everything might be a little bit more too. So, I always tell people $2,000 is probably a good round number, depending on obviously where you live. So, if you're living in the continental United United States um, flights are gonna be you know just a little bit different depending on where you are and all that good stuff but you know if you're international clearly this these things are gonna be a little bit different, but you know, that's all right. But let's get into the fun part, which I'm so excited about, which is going to be all of the decorations. So um, I really, really love this little thing. And this one's from that paper mint project. Oh, and I should probably write like on here, go wild 2019 maybe? Hmm, might be a good idea. Nice, okay, that looks a little bit better. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is cool little like jackpot thing, which I think is so perfect because this is a dang budget. So let's put this guy like right over here. Oh, these are really sticky stickers. Ooh, all right. There we go. Woohoo, maybe I'll hit the jackpot and then this will be like paid for. What do you guys think? Do you guys like that idea? I think um, on the top here, I'm gonna do another line of this because I think this is so cute. It just looks a little too plain, I think, up there. So we're gonna... We're gonna zhuzh it up a little bit. Oh yeah, I like that a lot better. Okay, yep, that's what it needed. That's how I feel about it. That's what it needed. Nice. All right, I like the way that looks a little bit better. Like, I feel like the wild was kind of lost, just a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna pull off some of these little dice friends, cause, you know, the cuteness and all. All right, and then let's get one of these from Small Town Grace, one of the little wild mugs, because we all need a wild mug in our lives. And I'm actually gonna put this down by the food, because it's kind of funny, you know, like the little food. <laughs> I'm like such a dork, and I'm like cracking myself up doing this. <laughs> and then I think like up above the budget, I'm gonna put like all these little gold coins where it says budget a little bit, because it's cute, right? And these, this is a little sheet from Adriana Piper. Fun stuff. And then I'll put these little poker chips in here too. Also, there's some cute poker chips on here as well. So let's pull those off and see what we want to do with those. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna use my little airline ticket and put that right in the middle here. And then I'm gonna grab my little gal from Plan to Plan Sticker Co. I haven't used any of these. I don't really know why, but. All right, and then I'm gonna put my little gal right over here because that is apparently going to be me. And then I'm gonna take these little um, dice from the Adriana Piper one and uh, figure this out too. Come on, pull out, there we go. Oh, hey, check it out. There's like a little stack of cash. <laughs> I'm gonna put this over by my spending money maybe? Nah, I'll put it on my budget because it's funny, right? Yeah, I like a nice wad of cash next to my budget. <laughs> All right, fill up. Fill up some of that negative space, right? All right, I'm gonna use one more sticker right at the top. It's just a little star from this guy. So I think that's cute. All right, 
I'm done decorating now. It's kind of an overwhelming mess, but I really like it. All right, had to zoom you guys out there. So anyway, that is gonna be it for my Go Wild budget for 2019. Again, if you guys have any questions, feel free to put them down below, as well as I will link my Go Wild playlist down below. You can see my vlogs, as well as I did a Q&A after I got back as to how my experience was and the costs and things like that, but you guys already kind of see the costs right here. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Feel free to thumbs up, subscribe, do all those things those YouTubers tell you to do, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> Give it to me, baby. Yeah.